Hi everyone, it's Agnes and this is a viewer's question from Parry. Parry, you wrote this to me on the 15th of Feb. Now, you said, I hope this is a valid question. If you feel it's important for others too, can you please make a video on how to create an atmosphere so that the specific person himself comes to us? Like, yes, we do the affirmations of what we want, but when we don't see it, then to how do we create that atmosphere around us so that he pulls into our vortex? Like we cannot be on high vibrations all the time. So when are we not in a, when we are not in a high vibration, what to do at that time? Will that push them away? Because mine is on and off and I know it's me pushed out, but all the time, how can I just be positive? Okay, Parry, good question. Creating an atmosphere so that the specific person comes to you. Well, it really is about what Abraham Hicks, I think, says the best. It's about the art of allowing, okay? You allow. You stop noticing they're not here, they're not here, they're not coming, they're not coming. I'm doing all the right things, I'm doing all the right things. This should have happened by now, this should have happened by now. Because all of that in you is urgency. Urgency comes from I need to get, okay? Just another level. So... It is continuing to do your affirmations, your self-love meditations, your scripting, your vision board, but it's also about getting off it. Just get off it. Go and do other things. Go and listen to music, go and play basketball, ride your bike, swim, catch fish, you know, whatever it is that you love to do. Go and be in the moment of feeling free and wonderful and good and just be happy where you're at. It's like Abraham Hicks says this all the time. You've got to make peace with where you're at. You've got to make peace with where you're at. And while you're in all this score keeping <laughs> he's not here yet i've done all the right things you end up hand breaking it because urgency comes from i'm not at peace here right now okay so you've got to deal with the i'm not at peace and you've got to work more on surrender letting go and allowing there is a meditation surrender letting go and allowing i will put the link down below for those of you that want to practice it that you are in a similar situation to perry and you're feeling bit of impatience and a bit of urgency it's okay you know it's where you're at and that's okay but it's working with it calming yourself down pulling yourself back stop accelerating stop trying to do more stop trying to get slow down okay so you're saying you want to know how you create the atmosphere so that they pull into your vortex well you got to stop trying to pull them in you got to just be and radiate out. So that's the issue. You're trying to do this. you got to do that, which is energetically giving, unconditional love, let go of scorekeeping, forget about the how and when, be happy with where you're at, be happy being single. Say to yourself, you know what, when they're here, I'm not going to have as much time to myself. I'm not going to have as much time to read. I'm not going to have as much time to do my self-love. I'm going to have to fit it in around other things. I'll have less time. So look at it as right now, the benefits of being without them. Okay. Now, and that's okay. You still want them and that's fine. And, and, you know, at the end of the day, we're human and we like to be with, with another human being. I think for the most part, most people are wanting a connection with another human being at a deep level. Nothing wrong with that desire. It's part of being human, I think. So, but really look at the urgency okay so you're saying i know it's me pushed out but all the time how can i just be positive well you can't you can't be positive all the time because you're human and you're not a robot and you've got feelings and part of those feelings are about experiencing positive and negative feelings so it is very much about accepting yourself where you are relaxing checking in with yourself what do i need what do I need? What do I need? Do I need to sleep? Do I need to drink water? Do I need a good meal? Do I need to relax? Do I need a meditation? Do I need to go to work and focus and give? Do I need to, you know what? I've got to get out of being inside. I need to go outside in nature. Whatever it is, it is about really doing those things moment by moment, segment by segment to lift your vibe and to get inspired and to feel good segment by segment by segment without the specific person. Once you let go of, you know, I'd feel so much better if they were here. I need to have this. Once you let go of that, it's like that's when they come because you're no longer, I need that to make me happy or I need that to make me feel better. You can literally just go, you know what? I really love them. I'm going to radiate love out to them. 
No one can take that away from me because that's mine. I create the self-love and I create the sending it out. I can do that anytime. I don't need them to be here to do that, you see. So, Perry, I hope that helps. Thank you for your question because I do think it is a question that, you know, does get asked a lot, the speed and how slow it is and all those things. So creating an atmosphere is about maintaining your peace and then you lose it, then you bring it back, then you lose it, then you bring it back. Meditation, you bring it back. Affirmations, you bring it back. You start to get impatient. You go on for a run, you go to the gym, you go and hit a punching bag, get the stuff out, get the energy moving, get yourself in a positive state, doing what you can as best you can. That's all. It's a journey. It's a journey. And I know we hear that, but this is the journey. One little bite-sized day at a time from morning till bedtime, from morning till bedtime, morning till bedtime. Okay. All right. So Perry, thank you for your question. And I will put the viewers questions playlist down below. And I will also put the bits on affirmations, the bits on meditation for the self. And there are also some good meditations for giving love and radiating love out to a specific person. And there are some specific person meditations and some projection meditations and some creating love within meditation. So I'll put those down below for those of you that just want to explore a little bit more. All right. Lots of love, everyone. And I'll see you in the next YouTube.